what's up YouTube? Super on the luck here and today I have a very special video for you guys and it is the first Yu-Gi-Oh subscription box that I guess I've seen uh, there may be others but this one's very intriguing and it's called a Yu-Gi-Oh parcel and uh, these guys reached out to me and they have a website called Instinct Emporium and uh, I'll put a link at the top of the description below so you guys can go check it out uh, but basically yeah they're the first like Yu-Gi-Oh card subscription service that I've seen and it's very intriguing. Um, definitely something that I would personally want to do in the future. But for now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Parcel. And so they went ahead and they sent um, a box for, uh, I guess it's kind of just a flat rate box. And or, and uh, yeah, so that's how you receive it. So let's go ahead and just pop it open. I believe these things are kind of easy to open. And today, we're going to go back with the classics. I, I found this classic, incredible... Uh, upper deck playmat, the classic field for Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, let's do this. And uh, then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos. So this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh parcel. I do have some Ultra Pro uh, Pro Clip sleeves over here that we'll also be using to sleeve some of our cool cards inside. Um, but all of the different facts are on their webpage there and each um, Parcel is like, so it's like a subscription box and they tell you what you're going to get for that month. And once again, I'll put a link at the top of the description below. For this one, I believe they sent me July, not August. So uh, let's check it out. And they say that the boxes are similar each month. So mystery item. Ooh. And so they said that um, inside the different boxes, ooh, you get a dice. If you subscribe for three months, you automatically get a mystery item. And then if you subscribe for, I think, nine or 12 months, you get two mystery items inside. So we'll be able to check that out at the end here. And so there's the booster packs. Cool. Let's see what we got. Oh, you get a Japanese booster pack, I believe. Yes, that is awesome. So you got Maximum Crisis. A, a list Alliance. Ooh, first edition. Uh, Star Pack. And then Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians, along with Generation Force. And then a Japanese pack. Interesting. I believe they're 20 or $25 for the regular uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! parcel. Then there's also a Deluxe Edition, I believe is around 40 So, for this one, we get our Elemental Hero Core foil here. We'll check out the foils before we get into the packs, if I can even... Oh, you get two foils. Okay. Actually, is this the August edition? I mean, it may be. Okay, so we get an A to C Dragon Buster Cannon. That's pretty cool. From Star Deck Kaiba. Um, Structure Deck Kaiba, whichever it was. That's actually pretty awesome. And then you get Elements of Hero Core. It's from uh, Shining Victories. And over here, you get even more foils. Wow. Odd-Eyes Absolute Dragon, uh, Theon, Theon the Great Sphinx, Fright for Sheep, the Despair Uranus, and then the Left Arm Offering. Whoa, nice card from Millennium Pack. If you have two or more cards on your side of the field, or sorry, if you have two or more cards, more other cards in your hand, banish your entire hand, add one spell card from your deck to your hand. You cannot set spell or trap cards to turn your hand to get this card. Actually a pretty good card. Nice. So I guess they just kind of throw together some different foils that they um, have. So that's really awesome. Okay. Then we got a Dice Masters. I'm not sure how this works, but let's pop it open. Oh, we got the Flame Swordsman. So it's like a card. And the Ring of Magnetism. Well, these cards could use some work. Interesting. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Masters, if you guys have ever played. I actually feel like we may have checked this out before. Um, contains two dice cards per pack. It's cool that there's these little dice that they make just for the game, though. I think that's pretty cool. And so I believe Dice Masters has a whole bunch of different themes. different like Mar There's like a Marvel Dice Masters in DC and um, other shenanigans like that. And yeah. We get the flame swords and when summon this monster gets plus two attack until end of turn. Interesting. 
Play a monster, play on a monster. Your opponent's action, dice, and abilities only target that monster. Ring of Magnetism. I guess it was used on the Millennium Shield in the show. Can you guys remember that episode? Post in the comments below. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So we got more dice. Got a whole bunch of foils. Here, let's go ahead and sleeve left arm offering. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's do a few of our English packs, then we'll get into our Japanese pack here. So start off with Generation Force and uh, Dual Attack Guardians. Gusto Kodor, Cracking, Goblin Bird, Treaty of Uniform Nomenclature, Star Challenger, uh, Crash Bug Z, Onigami as a combo. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, Lava Magna Cannon Holder, or Cannoneer, and Legendary Wind Up Key. Alright, now we have Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians, first edition here. Cool anything. Oh, Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend, an actual ultra rare from this set, known as one of the worst Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever printed. Um, Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend, I actually thought this guy was incredibly cool. That's pretty awesome, we got an ultra rare, I think you get three to four to six ultras in a box and there's 36 packs in a box so that's actually pretty nice tyrant red dragon archery no one's really found a use for this guy um, if we check him out here it says two tuners and one non tuner monster it must be synchro summon cannot be special summoned by the ways you can only use each of these effects once per turn during your main phase one you can destroy all other cards on the field also for the rest of the turn other monsters you control other monsters cannot attack you can destroy all other cards on the field. Wow. During either player's battle phase, when a spell or trap is activated, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that card. And if you do that, this card gains 500 attack. Wow. Spell slash trap is activated during battle. Why is no one using this card? Is it really that bad? How many stars is that? 10? I think it's 10. Two tuners and one non-tuner? I guess it's just too hard to get that kind of stuff out now, maybe. Seems like a decent card. Ooh, Red Wyvern. Nice. As that, that's the best common in the set, right? I think it's like a dollar common. During either player's turn, if a monster with higher attack than this synchro monster card is on the field, you can destroy that one face-up monster and with the highest attack. Your choice if it's tied. This effect only means once why this card's face-up. That's, yeah, that's a pretty good card. Wow. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. You don't see that very often. Okay, so got some value going on here. That's nice. All right, next pack. Uh, let's do star pack, and then we'll go straight into the premium pack 5Ds over there. That's always, that'll be fun. So our shatter foil, or whatever this is, is a Zhang Shang Magician, Virgin Tuning, and Legendary Fisherman number three. Definitely has a cool picture. Awesome. All right. Now for our Japanese pack here. Let's see what we get. Okay. Uh, Gear Gia Sharpshooter. <laughs> um, Flambell something, I believe. Uh, Masked Hero the Red Man. Um, Masked Hero's Mask. And uh, <laughs> Junk Strider. Of all the cards, I really don't know these ones. <laughs> um, but cool. <laughs> awesome. It's a Masked Hero, or whatever this card's called. That's cool to pull that. Dang, man. Japanese foils. And their cards. A little more sturdy. There's the symbol on the back. Yu Gi Oh! Konami. Awesome. Got Japanese cards from a foil Japanese pack. All right. And uh, you know what? Does these, does Ultra Pro sleeves fit on Japanese? I'm curious. A little tight. That's nice. All right. Now for, let's do Duelist Alliance first edition last. I believe that's the more expensive card. More expensive set. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Oni Kuji, Kaiser Sea Snake, 
Disciples of the True Dragon Phoenix. Magician's Rustage. Uh, Fairy Tale Luna. Nice, super rare. Luna. Perform Pal Rev Rave Dancer. Gift Exchange. And Magician's Left Hand. I like those cards. And now it's time for Duelist Alliance. Here we go. And we get an awesome card from our last pack of Destiny. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Draco Ascension. Chain Spell. Hippo Carnival. Flash Knight. Darn it. The power of the pendulum flashes forth with this shiny knight resonance insect. Soup for every samurai feast of the wild shit all. And for our mystery item. Here we go. How do we open this? Is it a card? It seems like it's a card. Here we go. Mystery item. Pokemon. Oh, snap dizzle pop. From Neo Discovery. Find the hidden messages. What is this? Nice! A promo ente! What? That is so cool! Wait, is, is ente hard to get? I feel like, is this, or is this automatic ente? See, I don't even remember. What? Oh, okay, that... <laughs> I like how I'm more excited for that than the Yu-Gi-Oh! bags. Um, I don't have any... Uh, yeah, I do. Heart of the Cards guide me. There we go. Some... Ooh, this is Pro Eclipse Sleeve again. For Pokemon Standard Science Cards. Um, are you guaranteed Entei? I feel like it was... Uh, there was like a few different ones you can get, maybe. Wow, that is cool. That is a straight up mint Entei. Straight from the pack. Promo. How's the border there? You want to get a PSA graded, boys? Wow. Oh, baby. Uh, Pokemon Power Bolt. Whenever your opponent attacks, damages Entei. Unless they knock out Entei. Flip a coin. If heads, shuffle Entei and all cards attached to it in your deck. This power can't be used if Entei is already affected by a special condition. Protective Flame. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to your benched Pokemon. Cool. Promo Entei. That was awesome. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Join the Pokemon Trading Card League. Wizards of the Coast. Definitely an old awesome package there. All right, so before we do a recap, let's open up one more parcel. So uh, the Instinct Emporium went ahead and sent both different parcels so you guys can get a look at the difference between the two. Um, and I don't know if, we'll the, if I'll be doing any more of these videos, but yeah, very intriguing. Once again, this is a monthly subscription box, you guys, so you can expect to get something awesome every single month I don't damage the cards before I can even get them out all right come on you go there we go all right deluxe edition Yu-Gi-Oh parcel ooh double the mystery in that one and this time more foils another four what else is different? Still get a dice. Okay. Do we get more packs this time? I believe we definitely do. Shoot, how many packs was in the last one? It was like six. Did we get like eight this time, maybe. Alright, let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Is that France? Or French packs? Five. Ooh, Duels Pack Rise of the Pharaoh. Nice. Six, seven, eight, and nine. More Japanese cards. Nice. Okay. So it was pretty cool getting a 5Ds Japanese. And a French pack, because why not? So nine booster packs, including the Japanese. And uh, we're going to start with Dice Masters, because we're going to go for that Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've got Baby Dragon and Mystical Elf. More dice, though. Yay. Okay. Let's do this, boys. Uh, so, I think it's the same. So, this is the... Ouch. Yeah. So, uh, this is the deluxe of the same um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, parcel. There's the Age of the Dragon and the Corrigan. And now, let's check out our foils. So, I think it's just random foils they put in here. Oh, boy. 
Spiral Sleeper from um, Maximum Crisis. Silvory Calcos. Heavy Armor Train Iron Wolf. Ryza from Premium Gold. What the freak? That's awesome. Lust Lector Pendulum. A DDD Dragon Bane King Beowulf. That's cool. Cloudian Sheep First Edition from Glad. I might actually need that card. Uh, Subterra Clash. Witch of the Black Forest. What? Cool. And Metal Fellows Ori Count. Wow, I think I need that sheep cloud. That was fun. Ryza chilling in there. A little more foils this time, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 foils this time. I can't remember, was it 5 foils we got in the last one? It's a lot of foils. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep up. Sleep. Sleeve up Cloudian Sheep Cloud. Because I think we need that for the Simply Unlucky Collection. Okay, a lot of stuff's going on right now on the play map, boys. Some mystery items. We got Entei out there, because that's awesome. Just gonna throw that over there. Okay, so now for our 10 more booster packs. This is definitely a little more than a random pack opening. This is kind of fun. Definitely uh, check them out. I don't know if you guys, it's up to you guys to invest in these. Description boxes are always fun. And I think you get a discount if you get more months. That's usually how they work. So I would imagine that's how they do it as well. Dragon des Limites Source Child. Uh, I can't speak French. Um, yeah. Wow, Armenis! What? Secret Rare! Oh man, it wasn't first edition French. Man. Um, Guardian of the Frontiers? Is that how they say it? What, what, what's Armides in English? Either way, or Armides, however you say this guy. That's very awesome. Secret Rare from our booster packs. Okay. Kuja, Kuja, Ku. That's the same in French. And, uh, the Calibrator. The Hoa. De Ombre. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to try to do French right now. So, let's go ahead and sleeve up our Secret Rare French card. Wow. I guess the French packs have the epicness in some. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's do our duelist packs, and then we'll do our Japanese pack. Let's see if we get another ultra rare from duelist pack, Dimensional Guardians. Nice Paladine ammo. That guy's actually pretty, pretty good rare from here. Another ultra rare! What? Pride for Reborn! Wow, I think that's the best card in the set. Target one fright for a monster in your grave. Special summon it during your main phase. Except the turn this card was sent to the grave. You can banish this card uh, from your grave. Then target one banished fluffle or fright for and return it to the graveyard. Wow. Did we really just get the best ultra in the set? And we got Tyrant Ranger. I'm telling you guys, this is one out of like six or eight packs. Yeah, one out of six to eight packs for the boxes. And we got two of them. Wow. Too bad it's this set. <laughs> uh, Chain Resonator. And we got Paladine Ammo and a Red Wyvern. Dude, our Dimensional Guardian packs are about as good as they could possibly be. That's hilarious. Fright for Reborn. Okay. All right, boys. What are we doing next? Rivals of the Pharaoh. Let's see if we can continue our Ultra Spree from these Duelist packs. That would be incredible if we got another one. Hell Palmer. Exchange of Spirit. Yellow Gadget. And, and Metal Reflex Slime. Not this time. Nice to see some Rivals of the Pharaoh, though. All right, what is this? Hell Palmer Exchange of Spirits. And let's do Star Pack, Arc B. Friend Donkey, Raid Raptors. And for our Japanese pack here, Extra Pack 2016. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it one more time. Extra Pack 2016. Here we go. Submarine Man, Blight Swarms, Judgment, uh, Cosmo, shoot, I like how it's in English for that one, wait, are these even Japanese, what the heck, is this Korean, I don't think this is Japanese, is it, uh, and then Super Gear Gear, something, okay, 
Well then, let's uh, go straight into Lord of Tacky. Okay, let's do full uh, oh, Draco Sack. Here we go. Wrist Bell, Eagle Shark, Five Brothers, Dotengo Dotengo, Big Whale, Fire Formation Gyoku. Remember, it's not a foil per pack here, so that's pretty nice to pull a foil from there. Panther Shark, Aerial Race, Gaga Ga Wing. Alright, uh, Secrets of Eternity next. Save that Duelist Alliance for last. Soul Strike! Zen Mayday, Infernity Piety, Piety, Tenacity of the Monarchs, Super Heavy Samurai Warlord Sasano, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Stellars, nice. Add that to our pile of foils we're getting there. And Raging Tempest. Here we go. Eater of Millions. Shoot an Ancient Gear Howitzer. Wind Witch. Winter Bell. Kriston Sulfonir. Soup. Soup for Soldier. Beginning of Heaven and Hell. King Bird. Alright, last pack of Destiny. Once again, Kaiba. Give it to us. <laughs> Metaphys Armed Dragon. Usually visible despite its phantom existence. Chaos Seed. Swordfish. Battery Man. Scar Melbranch of the Burning Abyss. UA Stadium. Hippo Hippos. Alright, you guys, the last but not least are our mystery items. So a little scary to open. Ooh. What the heck is this? Metabots. What? <laughs> is that like a show and same network Digimon was a show? Okay. Trading card game, Metabots. That was unexpected. I like the Entei more. Did we just pull a rare card? Hairy Insect. Wow, these cards feel like garbage. Okay. We might have just got a rare Ultra card, guys. Hairy Insect. Metabots. Yeah, I think we did. Look at that. We got a super ultra rare card from our Metabox. Meta, meta packs. Metabots pack. Hairy Insect. HCT type. Change module. Curly hair. Kinky hair. Crawler. Disturbing attack. The Metabot targeted by this attack must subtract 20 power points until it's attacked again. 69. Definitely dirty, kinky, curly hair monster. Alright. And mystery item. Here we go. See if we can bring it back to a actual TCG here. Uh, force of will. Okay, okay. Just a force of will pack. Lumia, Duet of Light, Ame no Habikiri, Alice's Pursuit, and Ritual of Millennia. They are uncommon, common, 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 common. Okay. Well, I have to admit. I really do like the back of Force of Will cards. That is that is awesome. It's been a while since I've seen that. All right, so back to the cards over here. We have as a recap. We'll go through our foils real quick. A little skimmy, skimmy through. Nice fairy tales. Japanese cards. That was actually a pretty good Japanese pack that we got. Got a Star Siege and a Red Wyvern and uh, Fire Formation. Over there, got our mass change, left arm offering, two ultras from Duel's Back Dimensional Guardians, that's pretty insane. Um, Armides Secret Rare from the, uh, what was that, the French pack, and Cloudy and Sheep Cloud. And then of course Entei, very awesome. Nice, this was like a, a funner version or more fun version of the mystery packs or just random packs. So. Definitely awesome. Once again, I'll put a link at the top of the description below, you guys. Please check them out. And, uh, yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Parcel Instinct Emporium. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Of course, post in the comments below your opinion on this Yu-Gi-Oh! Parcel. And whether you guys think it's worth it or not. And soup on the lucky signing out.